Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, we're going to be comparing two stud finder, the Franklin versus the Zircon. And we'll find out which one's best. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider pressing that subscribe button down below because I have so much content that I want to show you guys. I have a lot of how-to videos, DIYs, and product reviews just like this one so we can better understand which products are best out there. So with that being said, let's get this video started. Well, I actually made a mock-up of a real wall made out of real material. Now it's made out of real half-inch drywall, two by fours, which I spaced 16 inch centers. Now, when you're trying to find a stud behind your home, you're gonna be trying to find it probably inside your bathroom, your kitchen, your laundry room, which probably has some piping behind it. So I added some anomalies, which are PVC piping and copper piping as well. And don't forget, around your home there are a lot of live wires that are going on so I added a live wire for you guys as well which is running across here and down this stud I have this voltage finder actually live wiring right here the very first stud finder that I bought my good old faithful is the zircon center stud finding I bought this one because it had so many great features on it now there are a lot of zircon models out there but this one was the one that pretty much was at the top at the time when i bought it and what i love about it is it had the deep scan feature stud scan metal scan and most importantly what convinced me to buy this was it had the ac scan which pretty much scans for voltage behind your wall because you don't want to be drilling through live wiring which is very very dangerous so it wasn't until later on that i came across this stud finder right here which is pretty much the franklin sensor now what caught my eye about this stud finder was it had this cool led lights at the top which pretty much indicates where the stud is just by running this across and what caught my eye on this was it was very simply made it doesn't have the fancy bells and whistles like the zircon had with all the buttons and configurations the simplicity of this will try to test out if it's actually worth me switching to this stud finder or just going back to my good old faithful the zircon center stud finding and let's go test this out first and we'll go with the zircon center stud finder first and see if it detects all these anomalies that i built on this mock-up wall so with the zircon all it takes is pretty much a nine volt battery to activate this you're going to press the side button right here you're going to press against the wall first and then move it to the desired direction now it looks like it's detecting some voltage right away. Maybe it's because it's close to this live wire. So that's good. It didn't detect that copper piping at the back. There you go. And it's reading right there in the center. So now we're gonna put it on the AC scan. It's only gonna detect voltage and not any studs. So we have this live wire back here, right there. And now we're gonna go see if it can detect it. There you go. It did not detect anything. Let's run it again, see if it finds it. Nothing. Well, how about this? Let's move the wire so that it touches the drywall right on up. So there's no excuse for this AC stud finder to miss misread it from a stud to the wire. Let's do it one more time. Very disappointing. I wonder why it didn't pick that up. Let's go to the top view. Now it's, it's, it's finding it. It has some kind of bars on it in that time. So it's not centering in but you know that there's some type of voltage that it's detecting so at least that's a good thing but now we, as we continue it looks like it's detecting some weird false readings because there's no wire back there now we're going to switch it up to deep scan mode deep scan mode comes in situations like if you have a thick drywall like in this instance i'm putting two layers together of half inch making it one inch deep and let's see if it picks up this stud 
when we go to this setting see if it's really accurate and that one picked up earlier it actually picked up the edge right there and there you go it picked up the edge and not the center so it's actually having a really hard time trying to find that and it's actually picking up some false readings right there and that time it actually turned on and it's still picking up on the edge so that's not reliable but if we put it into regular stud scan will it still pick up now this one that's that option was actually more accurate than the deep scan it's still picking up the edge so in this test the deep scan test did not work so metal scan, um, I don't have anything metal. The only thing metal close to that is the copper. Um, let's see if that works. There we go. Nope. I did find this metal screwdriver and we'll put it right here, set it on the edge and let's see if it picks up that metal. So there's no excuse why it doesn't pick that up because it's touching the drywall back to back so let's run it right there metal scan it's saying metal and it picked up right there and there's no metal there the, the actual screwdriver is right here and it picked up way too early let's do it one more time just to make sure and there you have it it picked up way too early we'll keep going nope what if we go from left to right picked up way too early so accuracy on the metal again that failed so the only thing that actually works on this that's very reliable to me is actual just the regular stud scan now let's do the final test. Let's run it across each one of them and let's see if it actually picks up all the studs. And if it does pick up 100%, then it's worth it. Okay, so let's start from here. That's one. Didn't pick up the PVC. Two, picked up the center. Oh, now it's reading. <laughs> it's actually picking up the AC now, right there. So that time is actually accurate. See that? And the final one right here to the edge. Let's do it one more time. and it disappears so this next stud finder we're going to try out is the franklin sensor stud finder i recently just got this one and i want to try it out and it's easy access right here you can easily access the battery through this slot and it takes two double a batteries double a batteries are a lot easier to find than nine volt batteries so that's a good feature and it just snaps back in place just like that so what I, I like about this is that it looks very simple easy to use just a press of a button has measurements on the top LED lights at the top now, now let's go put this to the test and see how well it performs finding these studs now again we're gonna be using the same mock-up right here we're gonna test it out with the live wire as well see if it detects that and let's get this started like so and look at that it already detected the first stud right there if I move around it disappears it didn't detect that copper piping oh there it is detected that one so if we look close to it it looks like it's right on point right there okay then it detect that PVC piping detected the stud and it's not detecting the wire that's a good that's a very good indication that this stud finder is 
a really good one because if it detected that there would have been trouble you don't want you don't want to be drilling onto a live power like that very dangerous and there you go a little a little fluttering on those on those lights right there let's try it again and that's pretty good it actually passed it real nice so let's try it again one more run good good that's awesome nice put two layers and let's see if it can still detect it okay right there looks like it's still detecting it it's having a false reading right now uh, it's getting all crazy It's sort of detecting it, but it's all over the place. And there you go. It's, it can't seem to do one inch thick studs. So that one's kind of picking up, but then it gets all messy and errorish. I don't know if that's a word, errorish. But this one, yeah, it, once it gets it to it, it locks on, but it, then it gets all messed up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add another stud close by and we're gonna test it if it can detect two studs at the same time, side by side, or just a few inches apart from each other. So let's go install this extra stud. So here we go, we got two studs right here. They're a couple of inches apart. Let's see if it can detect both at the same time. Wow, it actually does. Look at that. It detected the two studs, but it didn't detect that wire. So that is awesome. Amazing. Good. At least it didn't detect that wire. That's mostly what I was concerned of. Let's use the zircon. Just, just put it on the regular stud option. Okay, it's a little off to the edge. And it's offset again to the edge. So I don't know what's going on with this Zircon stud finder. But it's not reading accurately. And it's reading to the edge. That one's a little off to the center, but it still found the stud, just not in the middle. So now that we tested out these two stud finders on drywall, I was wondering, I was curious also to test it out on OSB siding. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put OSB board on top here and let's see if it can detect those studs with the OSB sheeting on it. All right, so let's do that right now. We have this scrap piece of OSB. Let's test out the Franklin first since the Zircon went first last time. So it looks like it's still reading it. Didn't catch that PVC pipe. Let's see if it catches that copper. Didn't catch it. Read it. Got that, got that, still reading it. And it didn't catch that wiring. there you have it friends those are the outcome for the franklin and the zircon stud finder in my honest opinion i think the franklin sensor outperformed the zircon by flying colors and this will probably my main will be my main primary um, tool to use for stud finding and i'll probably just still use this for backup what i really like about this is that it's so easy to use all you gotta do is press against the wall press the button and run it across and the LEDs at the top will pretty much indicate where those studs were. As you can see from the test, it didn't detect the piping, the electrical. Um, all it did was detect where those studs are. And it detected two side-by-side -side studs, which pretty much impressed 
impressed me. Um, this one was a little way off. It was, you know, hit or miss. Um, the stud scan was the most effective op you know, feature on it, but the other options, the metal, the AC, and the deep scan were, it failed on that part of the test. But overall, I'm not gonna get rid of this. It's still gonna be my backup stud scanner in case this one fails on me or just dies out. But overall, if you like these two products, I'll leave it in the description down below. Um, I'll leave this at the top. This will be the bottom so you can easily click on it and find where you can buy this. Again, this ranged about $30. This was around $70 to $80 wherever you, um, depending on where you buy it. I bought this at Amazon. This one's from a big box store. So again, friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Um, these videos do take a lot of time making this mock-up did take some time in filming So I'd greatly appreciate friends if you hit that like button press that subscribe button and press that notification bell So that you can always be in tune on what's going on around my house product reviews like this DIYs and how-to videos because I have a lot more how-to videos on How to do simple things around your home without hiring a professional spending a lot of money on easy to do things that you can easily do yourself at home which i know you can thank you once again friends i hope you have a good and safe day and stay healthy i'll see you on the next video